that best to do that? Yeah, I wasn't starting on edge. It's start just on easier okay. because then you just have to fool with that. I would have started on a corner. Mm -hmm. it's, <laughs> it's really easier because when you start on an, on the very edge of it, sometimes the presser foot won't grab it right. Mm -hmm. And then you end up having to pull the whole thing back out of the machine and putting it back in. So if you start a little further down, yes, it's just much easier. And if your machine happens to have a thing that will allow the presser foot to stop in the down position, that's beneficial, but it's really not absolutely necessary. So did you see that? Mm -hmm. Needle down, put the presser foot up, and you can turn it any way you want to. Corners are much easier to <laughs> okay, then when you get to where you are back over stitching you've already done, just back up to lock your stitches in place. Okay. And that's whatever button you have on your machine to do that is what you'll do just to back some stitches up. And then raise your presser foot and raise your needle and trim everything off. And because you did a lock stitch, you can trim right close to the edge of the fabric. Um, I think I got this at Hancock, and I got it because part of the other gift that I'm giving has little elephants on it. Oh. Uh, and ducks, but they didn't have one with elephants and ducks. And they didn't have any ducks that I looked anywhere else. I haven't even looked at Bobby yet. And there you go. So all you have to do is get a place in town. Just cut it. Fold yeah, Hobby Lobby has flannel. I bought my flannel there. And then iron the edges so it iron, yes. <laughs> <laughs> that also um, kind of locks your stitching in. That thing that's a triangular shape that. that you plug in, it smells when you yes, plug in it. Oh, that one. Okay. I will <laughs> tell you. I couldn't find that. The <laughs> iron. My <laughs> iron's missing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. I'm not joking. <laughs> when you're ironing flannel, it stretches. So you don't want to put it down and fold your seam over and run it like this. You want to put it down, fold your seam over, and set it. Okay. Pick it up and set it. Oh. Pick it up and set it. And, set it. and do that. Oh, mm -hmm. I'm so glad you said that. Yeah, you get there, and then the, this end of your fabric will be like this much longer than the body of it. So you fold that edge down before you iron? Yeah, when you when you're doing it to to make your hem, you fold the first edge over, which would be the raw edge. And then you fold it once more, and that makes your little, little hem. Did you iron the whole thing? I think this one. Yeah, after, did you iron the whole thing first? Yeah, after I did. Like, this, I like you it. picked up this. You didn't iron anything but the hem. When I, I first the did pieces. it, I ironed the, the whole hem. thing. <coughs> no, okay. Just first did it just the hem. When I was finished, I ironed the, the whole thing. thing. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to go. Okay. But we did finish our little tissue holder things, and okay. we made lots of them. The so neighbor girl, the neighbor girl, the neighbor girl made lots of them. So um, we'll bring them back next time. And I have the 27th written down on the calendar. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, I know that's the men's oh, meeting, that's so that's why I was going to do them on the third. Oh, I, I must see. have just gotten so, confused and wrote them down the wrong day. Anyway, so, so just, when is it next month? She said, I'm um, yeah. I'll have to look on that. Is it the third, third Sunday? Third Sunday. Okay. Yeah, whatever Third Sunday. that'll be. Okay. All right, well, I will write it down correctly next time. And so okay. then we'll bring back our, I can go ahead and do one of these. Yes. Sir. And have, have the girls do them. Just do okay. the baby blankets. Yes. Out of one yard of, um, of the flannel. A flannel. Mm -hmm. flannel. Okay. All right. Thank you. I know. Me too. <laughs> That's what I can understand why you cut it. Go. To make it straight and to get rid of the selvage edge. You do not want your selvage edge. Because it runs in the edge. It shrink, no, it shrinks at a different rate. It's water. Oh, we can right. probably do your blanket now. Um, so it shrinks at a different rate. You can even tell the difference in the flannel. Stacy, the this is going on YouTube. <laughs> no, I think, like I said, I, I cut this one to like 36 by 30. 
And since most fabric is like 40 some inches, one yard will cut. One yard will make 36 by 30. But um, this is one yard, and it's only one yard this way. Oh. And since that's the way you're going to cut it, you know, short. This would be the 30-inch side, and this would be 36, because most fabric, like I said, is about 44 inches long. So one yard will give you a, a receiving line, 30 by 36. Oh, I didn't know that. So and it was 30 by 36 um, before I handed it. Mm -hmm. before. And if you want it a little bigger, you can, but you know they are not so close. But I think it needed to be bigger. But,